I am awake right now. This is not a dream. I am awake right now. This is not a dream. Wednesday, May 13th, 2015. Recurring dream elements, movie theater, freezing, the phrase, she's right behind you, the nickname Jules and, and him. Subconscious connections. I went to go see a movie yesterday with my family, but I'm also on crew for My Fair Lady. It is unclear which of these made me dream of a theater. I'm failing chemistry again. Reading a divine comedy in AP literature means that I'm dealing with a lot of hellish images and symbolism, but this is not a recurring dream element. Had your glass of apple juice, your orange slice, the recordings are ready. Tonight, you will have a lucid dream. It's a distinct and frankly scary reality. However, we mustn't let this get in the way of discoveries that can be made while lucid dreaming. This phenomenon is more than just complete control of our dreams. It allows us to inspect elements of our psyche and subconscious. The occasional use of galantamine in pill form can be helpful for lucid dreaming, but only in small doses and only with infrequent use. There are many consequences to lucid dreaming. You disgusting waste. You'll never be one of us, and you'll never fit in. I will make it my personal, no, life's goal to make your life terrible, Julia. All hope abandon, ye who enter here. Why are you being so mean to me, Jen? I've only been nice to you. Stop. Is that Italian? I'm not in Italian this year. How do I know that? L'amour che mort il sol e la triste. L'amour che mort il sol e la triste. This is pure Dante. It's translated as the love that moves the sun and the other stars. To what may Dante be referring? Are you serious, Julia? You can't even answer that. Dante was all about Christ. You know, I'm so disappointed in you. Jen knows the answer, and you've been sitting next to her all year. If you'd only look over at her paper, maybe you wouldn't be failing chemistry. I know. Do you really? Yes, I do. She's beautiful, you know. I know. You so belong in groups with her. I know. You will never be like her. You are not beautiful like her. You have a weird smile when you look at Miles like, Hey, I'm trying really hard to impress you. So please don't look away from me. Please don't look away from me. Please don't walk away from me. I'm worried that I'm in love with you. Because he couldn't possibly love me back. It's kind of pathetic, really. Hey, what's the prognosis, Doctor? Is she going to survive? Clearly wouldn't fit you, Julia. I'm so terribly sorry. It breaks my heart, really, to have to say that, especially with all your friends around. Julia, you're never like Jen. She's everything you want to be. You do realize that, don't you? I do. I really, really do. It's your birthday, sweetheart. What kind of cake do you want this year? I don't know, Mom. Maybe we don't celebrate this year? Oh, nonsense! You'll always be my baby girl, even if you leave me for college next year and leaving me here all alone. Oh, God! Why am I going to see without you here? This is a nightmare! Mom? Mom, you can't keep crying like this. 
I know I'm leaving for college next year, but it's not like I'm drifting away on a sheet of ice, never to return again. What happens if you drift away on a sheet of ice and a pink polar bear eats you? Why does that sugar? Wait a minute. You're my lit teacher. How do you know I'm failing chemistry? I suppose I know because you know. Because we're all parts of the same working mechanism. This is my dream. I'm inside of my dream. Have I done it? It would appear to be the case. So what should we do? Julia? I need to talk to him. Who's, Who's me? Heart? You know who I'm talking about. Are you still sleeping? Julia, are you okay? Um, yeah, Mom, I'm, I'm fine. Um, what, what do you need? Your alarm's been going off for about three minutes now. Must have been some good dream. You even talked to me. That's not what I'm trying to do, Mom. You know what I'm trying to do. Oh, yeah. That. Well, I'm making pancakes for breakfast. Are you coming down? Um, yeah, I just have to log this in my journal first. I'll be right down. What are you trying to accomplish, sweetheart? I don't mean to sound rude, but how do you- It's important to me, Mom. Just give me like 10 minutes. I'll be right down. Hank, I'm worried about Julia. She'll be down any second now. Besides, what's there to be worried about? She's just coming off more aggressive than usual. And her dream thing is just fear. I think it's charming. She's like our little adventurer. Uh, well, I guess if it gets much worse, we could try to talk her out of keeping the journal. But, as it stands, it's creative and doesn't do her or us any harm. Besides, honey, she won't always be there. We have to treasure our time with her. So, we're in the third circle of hell, and then Dante gives us this quote. This is my favorite quote. You say that about every quote. You can only have one favorite quote per year. Well, then it's this one. The more a thing is perfect, the more it feels pleasure and pain. What? What do you think? <laughs> Julia, thank you for volunteering. Um, I, um, is it about God? That's a nice observation. Just <laughs> swing and a miss. Come on, be nice. You know, you don't always have to stand up for her, Miles. Besides, if Jen starts to notice, she'll get jealous. Is it about the souls being reunited with their bodies? The moment where they meet again? Beautiful answer, Jennifer. And why might that be significant? The unification between the body and the soul? At least for Dante. Whoa, whoa. Wait. Is that what's actually going on here? She's on the right track. Should I ask her? You should totally ask her. Yes? Did Dante do, like, a ton of drugs? <laughs> I am awake right now. This is not a dream. Recurring dream elements, school, freezing, separation from family, and identity crisis. Subconscious connections, I'm still failing chemistry. Reading a divine comedy is still giving me some hellish images and symbolism. I feel like the teachers hate me, so they abuse me in my dreams. According to the Dream Dictionary, the mannequin is a projection of my real self. Because it was wearing a doctor's coat, I guess that means either I need serious help or I'm going to help someone in need. I don't know what it means, really.
We must also watch the frequency of our lucid dreaming. There are many consequences to consecutive nights of lucid dreaming. Some are minor, such as exhaustion or frustration upon awakening. What concerns me is strictly hypothetical, but completely possible. Complete immersion into lucid dreaming for an extended period of time could lead to a dissociation between the dream world and the real world. It could signal she is a thing. A thing is a, a thing, thing, not what is said of a thing. Say that again? A thing is a thing, not what is said of a thing, Julia. Why, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, Julia, what will you think of next? Oh, that reminds me. Julia, did you get your homework done tonight? Oh, come on now, Eleanor. It's Julia. Of course she didn't get it done. <laughs> Sam, you want to see like a Julia for a two-year anniversary? Sure. A planner? Spark notes the fine comedy. <laughs> and this. Aww. Aww. Julia, you're adorable, but you need to wise up, girl. <laughs> hey, cut her some slack. I mean, it's not her fault. This is a big dumb, dumb, silly head. <laughs> Why, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Coco, stop barking! Hey, can't you get that dog to shut up? It's three in the morning and the kids have school. I can't talk to dogs, Eleanor. How do you expect me to get me to shut up? It's a dumb dog out of a dumb hell. I don't know what you're going to wake the kids up. This is my dream. I'm inside of my dream. How do you know you're still dreaming? This feels very real to me. To, to us. us. I know, because I made you say that. I know because we're sitting at a table, facing an audience, which is why we don't want to have our backs toward them. You're the audience I've been picturing for my fair lady. You're a good looking group of people. I guess I can also control the lights. Clap on. Would you like me to recite a soliloquy from Macbeth? You don't, you don't know, know any soliloquies, do you? Bits and pieces. Guess I shouldn't waste my time with that, though. You look beautiful, beautiful Julia. Julia. Yeah, Julia. Yeah. Julia, what happens next? Please say it. In fifth grade at lunch, we sat by each other every day. You always bought a brownie for us to share it, and we always did. I don't know why I remember that, but it was nice to show mom was the song you could trust. I love you. Your mother would say that you don't know what real mature love is, but I think you two would make a cute couple. Really? No, not really. She told you to wait until college. Come on now, Eleanor. She has free will and she can do whatever she Shut wants. Shut up! Don't you tell me. Both of you, stop fighting! Um, what would happen if I asked you out? Uh, not in here, but out there. It could go a lot of different ways. The most likely, though, I have to get uncomfortable with you being so forward and have to distance myself from you for the rest of the year. I'm sorry, Jules. That sounds about right. What about in here, though? Ask me. Miles, would you like to go on a date with me? It's starting to fade away, Julia. The recording said this might happen. I just have to repeat a word or phrase that will bring me back into the dream. It's so much nicer here, Julia. You, you know, know that, that, right? This is exactly what you want, want, Julia. A thing is a thing. Not what is said is a thing. A thing is a thing. Not... So, a thing. A thing is a thing.
Not... What are you two doing here? Doing where? The dining room table? Where's Miles? Who? Miles. Miles? Yeah, Miles Edgeworth, you know, I, I feel like she had a thing for him back in like third or fourth grade. Yeah? Julia, are you still sleeping? Julia? Julia? Julia! This is not a dream. Honey, would you please talk to me? I told you, Mom, I can't talk to you. I have to stay on my schedule and say the same things for it to work for me. Well, why does it matter so much to you? Why do you have to do this? I've already told you so many times, Mom. I don't have to keep explaining myself to you. When you're done in there, you go downstairs, Julia. Your father and I are going to have a long talk with you, young lady. I'm fine. Thanks. You can't be busy in school because you're sick. We both know that's not the case. I don't know if you're stressed or depressed or anything, but you've got to tell me what's going on. Good night, Mom! I am not awake right now. Mom? I am awake right now. This is not a dream. Wednesday, May 20th, 2015. Recurring dream elements, school, freezing, separation from family, identity crisis, and, and, and complete control. Subconscious connections, constant bickering with my mother about missing school. I keep trying to tell her that this is more important, but she won't listen. Dad is starting to chime in now. I, I haven't spoken to my peers in about a week, though I constantly talk to them in my dreams now. Last night's dream showed me how important Miles is to me and gave me a few new ideas of how I can approach him. I still don't know what to do about Jen, though I think I'm starting to narrow in on a possible outcome that could work in the other world. I guess that would be this world. She's not good enough for Miles. I'm, I'm awake right now. This is not a dream. I'm awake right now. Sing her a song? What is that? Oh, just sing her a damn lullaby. Whenever I want you, all, all I have to do is dream. Dream, 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 dream. Dream, dream, dream. Dream, 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 dream. Ah! Why don't you wake up? 
Her breathing is speeding up. Call an ambulance. Why did we let you do this to yourself? A thing is a thing. Not what is said of the thing. More things perfect, more feels pleasure. Truly, it's harder and harder to tell whether or not she realizes that she's too far into the... Honestly, I don't know how to describe it. I am awake right now. This is not a dream. I am awake right now. This is not a dream. Where's my journal? What are you doing? I'm trying to get ready for bed. Everyone, stop! Miles, say something. Miles, say something or leave! to help Julia, but this is a unique case, Eleanor. Hey, there aren't many surprises that I deal with on a daily basis, but I'll do whatever I can to help your daughter. I am awake right now. This is not a dream. I am awake right now. This is not a dream. Who are you? You're not me. How am I not me? You stole miles from me. Where's my journal? So she did know the consequences going into this. I do feel that lucid dreaming is a fascinating concept, but not at this cost. I had no idea that she took drugs and listened to your tapes to try to control her dreams. I thought it was a hobby for creative writing or something. I told you this would happen. You never listen to me. How are we still married? Please don't blame this on yourself. This was Julia's choice. You never listen to me! How long will this last? Well, she's been here for about 23 minutes. I can't imagine it'll go much longer than that, but she still hasn't figured out a way to get Miles to love her. Testing will have to be done on Julia to properly determine which circle of hell she'll rest on for all eternity. I believe it's the second circle, lust. Very nice. We understand, mm. Doctor. She was always a little off, if you know mm. what I mean. You know, they say a thing is a thing, not mm. what is said of the thing. Mm. Well, it appears as if we've reached the end of our show, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you've enjoyed our production and taken away a valuable life lesson. Evil is all around us, and it must be eradicated at all costs. Join us for my favorite theater warm-up. The life of the wife was ended by the knife. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. The more I think it's perfect, the more I think it's perfect. The more I think it's perfect, the more it feels pleasure and pain. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. The more I think it's perfect, the more it feels pleasure and pain. I am not awake. This is just a dream. I am not awake. This is just a dream. Stop it! Stop it! What's going on? What's going on? When...
she took, galantamine, do have harsh consequences for the user in large doses and with frequent use. I mentioned that in one of my lectures, and it shows up on the recordings that Julia listened to. So she knew the consequences going into this. I do feel that lucid dreaming is a fascinating concept, but not at this cost. How long is this going to last? Frankly, the long term effects of galantamine are different from patient to patient, and they're hard to predict. But I've never seen anything this severe. She's in a feedback loop of dreams. She'll wake up and then fall right back into REM. Well, how do you know she's falling right back into REM? <gasps> Julia? Julia, are you okay? Yes. Do you know you're in a safe place? Yes. Julia, where are you? I'm... I'm... I'm in a hospital. <sighs> Your pulse is stable, Julia. Do you feel sleepy? I'm exhausted. But you are fully awake? Um, I hope so. All right, good. I'll grab some water and give you all a moment. Julia, honey, why did you take so many pills, and why did you hide them from us? I don't know. It was just supposed to be an experiment. What do you mean? Well, I was just trying to figure out the best way to talk to this guy I like. Oh, God. Sounds so immature. It's because it is immature, Julia. I can't believe you scared your mother half to death over a damn boy. I thought we raised hey, you better. Hey, don't give her a hard time. She's okay. And she's not going to do it again. Who is the boy? Miles. Honey, you're overthinking it. Now, how long have you had feelings for this boy? Since fifth grade. Maybe even before then. You have 35 minutes to run to the school and tell him how you feel. You can't live in your dreams, Julia. What's the worst thing he's going to say? No. I'm so sorry I put the two of you through all of this. It's just so hard to go through life without someone you really trust. With Miles, it's, it's like... Like you've grown accustomed to his face. Exactly. Our connection is just so perfect it feels pleasure and pain in equal measures. I knew you two would understand. I've got to get going now. Get yes, him, sweetheart. sweetheart. Where's Jen? Um, I think you mean Julia. Oh, of course. Where is she? You heard her. She went up to the high school to talk to Miles. My little girl is growing up so quickly and she's going to be out of the house soon. Oh dear, don't think too much about it. After all, who could change a love that can move the sun and the stars? What are you doing here, Julia? Calm down, cut her some slack. Julia, you can't be doing this. Yeah, Jen. Are you feeling any better? I'm feeling a lot better. Thank you. Um, could I talk to Miles, please? I'm in the middle of a lecture. About Dante and all the different circles of hell. It is the most interesting, I know. Just, can I please talk to him? Is everything all right? When we were younger, you poisoned me. Um, not in a lethal way. Um, when we were younger, you made me feel things that I didn't understand at the time. You looked at the world in such a beautiful way, and all I wanted to do was look at the world with you. I matured a decade and a day trying to keep up with you. I just couldn't go through life knowing that nobody could ever electrify my heart the way you do. When your eyes light up. When you smile at me. That's... wow. Yeah. I practiced lucid dreaming tact as a primer for this moment. You rejected me thousands of times in my dreams. In one dream, you were a scorpion and stung me through the heart. You tried to throw me out of that window. You were a demon. You. You actually tried a pickup line on me. Immediately after he rejected me. It didn't work. And you, 
You are actually pretty much the same. Yeah. What? Yes. I remember everything you mentioned. I remember fifth grade. I know you do too. Julia, I like you too. This is so sweet. What did I say in your dreams? You told me you loved me and that we'd always be together. Uh, Julia, right behind you! You don't know him like I do. I am awake. Did you think you'd catch me sleeping, Julia? This should sound familiar to you. The life of the wife. Nice hit. Can't sully that show. You okay? Aww. What's that noise? What noise, Jules? What did you call me? Why aren't you dead? Well, that's, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. heard. Lights down! <laughs> and taken away a valuable life lesson. Evil is all around us, and it must be eradicated at all costs. Join us for my favorite theater warm-up. The last the life was ended by the night. Let's go! No! No!